through the limb. This is how they're doing it in uh, missionary schools. They're teaching them how to handle snake bites with uh, stun guns. Or you know, if you can't get that, get a spark plug off of a lawnmower, or chainsaw, or a car, or something. You know, and shock it. It'll help neutralize the poison. All right. What about the Ark of the Covenant? Well, in Jeremiah chapter 52, it tells us that they took away the cups, the spoons, the bowls. I mean, it mentions all kinds of little detail things out of the temple. In Ezra, it tells us about the stuff they brought back, and it says Nebuchadnezzar brought back stuff to the temple. They brought, or Nebuchadnezzar took away in, uh, the things, and Ezra brought them back here. And it mentions the knives, the gold and silver basins, the cups, everything. Little tiny stuff is all mentioned, but the Ark of the Covenant is never mentioned. What happened to the Ark of the Covenant? Well, in 2 Chronicles 26, it tells us Uzziah prepared cunning engines and machines to cast great stones. They made basically catapults. He put these on the walls of the city of Jerusalem to fling these massive stones out there to protect the city. Nebuchadnezzar came along and said, I would like to take over your city. I'd like all your gold. I want to kill all of you folks. So they, you know, had a big siege. Nebuchadnezzar apparently built a siege wall outside the range of the catapults. And he's just going to starve them out. In between the regular wall and the siege wall is no man's land. So apparently, Jeremiah, who was in the city, knew they were going to lose. God told him, you're going to lose. Tell the king to surrender. The king didn't want to surrender, so they ended up losing. But uh, Jeremiah took the temple furniture outside the city wall and inside the siege wall, probably at night, and he hid the Ark of the Covenant, the table of showbread, the candlestick. A lot of these things were taken outside the city wall, but inside the siege wall, and hidden in a cave system. If you look at the city of Jerusalem here, and pretend it's a